Hi and welcome to Reseller News. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is October 23rd, 2018. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. I hope you like the content and you keep coming back for more. Let's, without further ado, let's get right to it. <clears throat> I'm going to bump out of this window here and jump over here. Now earlier folks, I did a video, uh, eBay's dead try cross selling. Um, I don't know if a lot of you have watched it. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, you might want to check it out. It's pretty good information there. Um, I don't know <laughs> if it's going to be a game changer in creating sales, but it might be worth something looking into. Here, I went to uh, this website here. It's called ensofttonic.com. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. <clears throat> and over here, it says over here, eight tips for a better shopping experience on Facebook Marketplace. Now, if you follow me on my other videos, I did talk a little about, um, you know, uh, putting listings on Facebook Marketplace. You know, it's just a little different thing. It's just a little side tip here. Maybe it help you guys boost up sales, including myself. Uh, this came out on October 16, 2018. Yes, it is uh, old, you know, by, you know, a few, well, more than a few days old. But I always say old news is good news. <clears throat> now, if you look over here. It tells you eight tips for better shopping experience on Facebook Marketplace. And without getting too much into it, <clears throat> I'm just going to read the highlights over here. It says over here, number one, uh, research what you're buying. It says before completing a purchase, be sure to do your research. You'll want to understand what the price goes at a normal, at a normal store and what the effects to look for. Also read the reviews to ensure that the item is exactly what you're looking for. Um, I'm not going to read all eight of these here, but it says over here, don't buy from a wishy-washy seller. Uh, it's not a good sign if a seller seems to go back and forth and change their mind. <laughs> also, avoid buying from someone who's frequently increasing and decreases their prices of an item, or their item, I should say. Then it says over here for number three, buy from local sellers. Of course, you're not going to buy from somebody that lives in another state or two states away from you. So that all stands to reason. Um, <clears throat> it says over here, you can meet in a public place. Uh, the last time I sold a chair, I had the person come right to my house. It's I didn't think it was any big deal. Um, if you got big items, you're not gonna have. You're not gonna go schlepping a big. You know, if you're selling a dresser or, or an appliance, you're not gonna schlep it in a car or a van or whatever. You know, I mean, most likely you're gonna sell small items that can be readily picked up. You know, so yeah, I mean, if it's something small and you wanna. You know, if you're selling a watch or a laptop or something online, maybe a phone, a cell phone, yeah, you could, yeah, that, then I would say you probably meet in a public place. But for the most part, if you're selling something that's got to be picked up, it's too big, too bulky. I got a small car, so I can't put stuff in my car. Uh, the person's going to have to come to the house, you know. But if you feel uncomfortable with it, you know, here's the thing, though, folks. If you do feel uncomfortable, all right, having people come to your house, then this is not for you then. Okay, because, you know, if you're going to feel that way, then, you know, people, oh, they're going to know where I live and so on and so forth. Look, if you're doing an honest transaction and you're not out to shift the person, whatever, <laughs> you should have a problem with somebody coming to your house and buying an item. That's why I look at it, right? Uh, moving right along over here, check out seller's profiles. Now, I don't know how you check the profiles out on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Um, <clears throat> I'm still new to it myself. So I really can't expand too much on that, but if there is a way, you know, to check it out, uh, definitely check it out by all means. And then it says over here you can negotiate with sellers. Um, I did have that there. I was asking a little more for the chair, and the person offered me a little cheaper price. It was in the price range I wanted, so I did accept it. So uh, if you want to make a sale, it pays to negotiate. You know, if you're looking for something, uh, if you're looking for a target price, let's say you're selling something for hundred dollars. And, but your target price is maybe 50 I'm just throwing it as an example. You know, then you could be a little flexible. You know, then you can come down a few bucks or whatever. You know, but as long as you're getting that target price or you don't want to come right and say, well, I'm actually looking to get 50 you know, you're going to let them rebuttal with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the thing when it comes to uh, looking for sales. Try to keep a target price in mind. <clears throat> Here's over here. It says join a group. Do you really love shopping on Facebook? Join a specialized group that focuses on a particular category, such as furniture in one central location. This could help you find more eye-catching products for sale. Okay, these tips are the Facebook. <clears throat> these tips make the Facebook marketplace that much more safe and alluring and beneficial to buyers and sellers alike. Follow them, and you'll have a new collection of items purchased uh, for a steal in no time. 
Okay, so you can check that out. Uh, like I said again, I did a video earlier today. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna kind of a little cough over here earlier. Um, so you might want to um, you know check that video out. Uh, if you never you never did sell on Facebook Marketplace, you might want to check into it. You pr you probably can get pretty good deals to be honest with you. I was looking at some of the prices that people are tra uh, charging on there, and they're pretty good to be honest with you. I think they're pretty fair, you know. But uh, again, keep in mind. If you don't like the idea of people coming to your house, then this might not work for you. Okay, I'm going to bump out here and go to another screen. <clears throat> now, for those who are eBay diehards and you uh, you love eBay so much, <laughs> you bought stock on it, um, you want to track it, you can go to marketbeat.com. And the URL is www.marketbeat.com. You can see over here, this will change throughout the day. Now this is as of 10:23, 1:23 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm on the, I'm in the Eastern Coast here in New York. <clears throat> and if you see over here if you refresh the screen, that number will change here. You can see it'll be this is live. So you might want to check into this here. Uh, I I'm on, I only throw I'm throwing this out there in case you know there are people out there that own eBay stock. You know, you may be one of these type of people that maybe love, you know, you love eBay so much you want to buy stock in it and I thought maybe you might want to check it out. Um, but that's what we got going. But let me tell you, I just want to read a little over here uh, about this clip here. So I found a little interesting. It says, eBay Incorporate uh, Inc. operates a commerce platform that connects various buyers and sellers worldwide. Its platform enables sellers to organize and offer their inventory for sale and, and buyers to find purchase it, and to find and purchase it virtually. It goes on to say here, the company marketplace platforms <clears throat> include online marketplace at ebay.com and ebay mobile apps and StubHub platforms comprise of its online ticket platform at StubHub.com and StubHub mobile apps on online ticket platforms to connect fans uh, with the favorite sporting events that shows an artist as well as enables them to buy and sell tickets. Uh, there was something I wanted to read here earlier but I think I got it on another website I didn't really plan to read all that but now you got an idea what this is all about. Um, so if you are into the stocks, you might want to check it out. This number will change. You can see it will change. Uh, look at this now; it just dropped. Okay. Um, if you are a person that goes that that does own stocks in eBay, you might want to go to this URL, www.marketbeat.com. Keep it running in the background, and every time you refresh the screen, you'll get a new you'll get new information on it. Okay. Uh, give it a little time. It's not going to right now. Let's see. This is 27.9950. Let's see as we refresh it again. Okay. So this is still holding at 27.9950. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's back out of here. <clears throat> now, retailers, as retailers are dreaming of a green Christmas without Toys R Us. As you all know, uh, Toys R Us had, you know, closed up at chapter, they went under chapter 11. And leaving it to us sellers to get get in a bandwagon. If you got toys or certain things you want to sell, now's the year to do it. Now's the time to do it. Uh, get ready because the holidays are right around the corner. Before you know it, they will be here a lot sooner than you think. So if you are going to sell any toys or get into that, you know, into that uh, program as far as that part goes, <clears throat> you might want to do it soon enough. Uh, let's bump that right along here, folks. Okay, we got another window over here. This one here is from the w, uh, from retaildive.com, www.retaildive.com. And this one goes on to say over here, more holiday consumers plan to shop both online and in stores. The dive brief is more than three quarters, 77% uh, of holiday shoppers plan to complete. Uh, at least some of the list on it, uh, complete, I mean, I'm sorry, at, wait, let me try it again. <laughs> uh, plan to complete at least some of their list online. But the real story is cross channel purchasing, and according to the study from the NPD group, uh, which is which emailed Retail Dive, six out of ten shoppers plan to go both online and brick and mortar stores this season, an increase of three percent three percentage points since last year, according to report. It goes on to say online shopping intent has risen four percentage points from last year and six percent points from 2016, according to the report. E-commerce shoppers. And anticipate spending on an average of $748 this year, some 50% more than $492. Are those planning to go only to physical stores? MPD said. Okay. Um, again, folks, this here is uh, if you guys you know do plan on do both or whatever, 
uh, or you know, you're, especially if you're in a reselling business, keep this in mind. Um, I don't know if you guys are into retail arbitrage. I don't do that. Some people around this time of the year, they will start going to the stores and they'll start picking stuff up, discounted items to put up on eBay. Uh, I don't do that, but I don't know if you guys do. Uh, you might want to start getting into it right now because be ready because when the time comes, you know, right after Thanksgiving, that's when all the holiday sales start taking place. So you might want to check into that a lot sooner than uh, later. Uh, it says over here, <clears throat> more than two thirds of 70, more than two thirds, 70 percent plan to shop online. Only retailers over the holidays, followed by 42 percent who plan ahead to the mass merchants, discount stores, 24 percent to the national chain stores and 30 percent to the department stores. And he found <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. But anyway, that's what we got going on over here. And did you guys ever wonder how many actual sellers there are on um, yes, Amazon? This came out. This is from Market Pulse. Okay, it's uh, the URL is www.marketplacepulse.com, and you can see it came out yesterday, October twenty second, twenty eighteen. One million new sellers on Amazon. <clears throat> When you look at this little graph over here, it's amazing, right? It shows you what's going on here. But let's look at this really quick. It took less than a year for Amazon Marketplace to grow by 1 million more new sellers. That's 3,398 new sellers every day or 141 every hour or more than two every minute. So far in 2018, across the 14 countries Amazon Marketplace operates in, U.S. and India, Germany marketplaces contributed to more than half of all new sellers. The U.S. Amazon uh, the U.S. is Amazon's largest marketplace, of course. Uh, unsurprisingly, continue to attract close to a thousand new sellers every day. In India, mark, in India, the marketplace has doubled from 200,000 to 400,000 sellers in less than 15 months, highlighting what what is a future will become Amazon's second largest marketplace. Germany, together with the other four European marketplaces, shows that increasing effort by Amazon sellers worldwide expand internationally. So you see, folks, you know. Uh, I think I talked about this before in my other videos. I am a registered seller on uh, Amazon. I am not a big time seller. I haven't sold it in quite some time. Um, the reason why I don't really get too involved with, uh, with that there is if, because if you go any more than 50 listings, you have to sign up with them where you do it a monthly fee uh, to sell on Amazon. And for me, I'll be honest with you, I am the frugal entrepreneur. I like to stay within a certain guideline. Uh, I will only probably, if I do sell on Amazon, it'll only be 50 items because any, anything more than that, then you got to sign up for a monthly plan. And uh, I don't really want to go that route. So I'd rather just keep it where it's cheap, keep it at 50, you know, I'll use it right to the, you know, to the, the amount that, you know, that set amount. And then again, if the time comes where I start to see, you know, a big increase in sales where I'm making enough money, then I'll consider getting into the other paid programs. But right now, I'll keep it just the way it is. If you guys out there are into selling on Amazon, uh, you know, let me know what you think. And drop a comment below, and you know, let me know if you if you think it's worth getting involved with. I am not selling it on Amazon right now at this point in time. I'm a registered seller. I sold in the past a few items here and there, nothing to write home about. But for the most part, <clears throat> I do all my selling on eBay, you know, which is really not too good. That's why I did that video about cross selling. Uh, you know, eBay has been really slow, to be honest with you. It's been really dead fill. So, uh, you know, I, I think I really should start listing more stuff on Amazon and maybe letting stuff drop off of eBay and just take that stuff that drops off and put it on Amazon. I don't know. I'm, I'm toying around with ideas, folks, to be honest with you. But we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Anyway, let's bump out of here. <clears throat> you know, I always like to talk about eBay, you know, like as far as like if it's up, down, I'd like to find out, you know, if there's been any issues going on. And I think I've talked to you guys before. Um, I recommend this site to all the new sellers or, you know, new people who subscribe. You might want to check out downdetected.com. And when you check it out, you're going to see the most reported problems. Website 68, login 22, and check out 9%. This will change on a daily basis. Okay, this always change on a daily basis. Here you have a live outage map. Okay, you can find out in what areas that they're experiencing any server problems or outages of some sort. I don't know. Could be server, could be electrical. I don't know. But you could click this on and it'll show you. I don't want to get too. I don't want to expand too much on it. But if you are going to join a discussion, you got to sign up. As you can see here, I'm over here signed up. Okay, 
Let me see what this is all about here. Uh, let's see. It looks like somebody applied to was responding to me. Uh, a little no sales. Okay, this is somebody who responded to me. I guess it was a while back, a month ago. I'm not going to get into it right now. Read it. <laughs> uh, but you could check into it and uh, see what it's all about. Anyway, <laughs> this was an hour ago. <clears throat> And I'll just read this one here because I don't want to read too much of it. I don't want to ju jump on it. He goes, oh, yeah, I hate eBay. He, uh, I hate calling every week with the new issue. Stop screwing it up with uh, and fix the broken blank. Uh, no, uh, no, don't do more stupid improvements. They're not improvements. <laughs> and, and fix your broke blank crap, whatever, uh, first. And then get the people to uh, answer the phone with English as the first language. All right, I'm not going to read it and see because this person sounds like they're really upset and uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get too much into it. Um, you could check it out and you could read about what other people are experiencing, what issues. Uh, the only time I wrote on here is about the no sales and it was something else I wrote about and seeing that people uh, have responded. They do respond to you, but um, I mean, these particular people, sometimes they voice their opinions and they get a little out there, but uh, you could check it out yourself. I'm not going to read all of this here, uh, but just go to downdetector.com. Uh, when you when you're gonna you're gonna get a window when you go there. It's gonna have a whole array of other companies. What you're gonna do is scroll to eBay, click it on, and then it'll bring you to this page. Okay, so you could check that out. I don't want to get too much into that. Here's another one from the eBay community. Um, with the eBay community, let's go over here. Uh, you can see the new latest stuff that came out. This was stuff, well, this is the most recent one. This came out in 1018, but I always like to scroll to the bottom to see what's the new latest things people are complaining about or voicing their opinions or issues on. And this one over here came out yesterday. It was from uh, October 22nd, as you can see here. And it just goes on to say, there's no, there's no doubt to me the gates get closed on your products and are, are mirrored. I have listed uh, many nice and new, very popular products. It's a sad situation. Myself, I switched to seller names to at least sell more than I uh, than my old and totally got and totally forgotten the account. And it says over here, um, I have free shipping, returns, promotions, etc. I was lucky a couple of weeks ago, but it's dried back up. So uh, dried back up again. So it goes over here. So if you are not promoting and you're getting nothing, and if you do sell a tiny bit and get throttled as long as the algorithm chooses. At this point, my own stores are making the giants look really bad. Uh, then it goes on to say, I know the buyers are out there, but not many, but not in my situation on, on here. I sold one item for $12 all weekend and $500 on my own stores. <clears throat> well, and then I wrote over here, keep moving on. You know, folks, you, you're going to come across these things. Like I said, I, I said it before in my other videos. Uh, there is something definitely going on with eBay. There's no doubt about it. Uh, what are you going to do? I mean, it's a love-hate relationship. You know, it, it, what are you going to do? Right? You, you got to either get on, get in with the, you know, get in with the program or get out. Right? Uh, this one here is from the Balance uh, MSMP. Yeah, it's a, it, the, here's the web URL: www.thebalancesmb.com. This one goes on to say, and this is old information, if I'm not mistaken. This came out September 22nd, 2018. But like I always say, old news is good news in some cases. Four strategies considered when eBay items aren't selling. I'm not going to read all of this here. I'm just going to read the highlighted ones here. Uh, offer 30-day returns. We already know that there. Um, use best offer. I use that. Ship, inter ship internationally. I do not ship internationally. I do not want to get, you know, dealing with international sales. Uh, and price competitively. Okay. Um... Those are just your four basics, okay? Uh, you could check this out uh, if you want to read the rest of it. It's uh, thebalancesmb.com, okay? Check that out if you get a chance. If you are experiencing, you know, items that aren't selling, you might want to try these uh, four uh, strategies out. Maybe it'll help you guys out, even me. <laughs> I've, I've, I've done these already, though, folks. That's why I'm sharing it with you. I did. Except this when I don't ship internationally, okay? Anyway, let's bump right along here. Get out. Um, I'm just throwing us a little segue in here for the new seller for the new uh, subscribers. 
if you, you know, if you, or, or for the people that just hit this channel, if you want to check out some of my other videos, I'm just throwing a little segue in it, so I hope you don't mind. Uh, you can see I have a bunch of videos over here with all, you know, a couple of different things. A lot of the majority of our is reselling news and some other topics, but I'm not going to load all 680, I think 80, one of them, whatever it is, or 70, whatever. Um, but you, if you get a chance, check it out, folks. See what's out there. You know, you might be interested in some of the topics I talk about. Okay. I just thought I'd throw it in there, <laughs> but let's move right along. Here is another one. This is frugal for less. I talked about this in the, uh, my other videos. I like this here because I am a frugal person. I do like to save money, and I like to. And when I do shop, I'm very, I'm a very conservative shopper. This way, this one goes on to say, this came out yesterday, October twenty second, twenty eighteen. It says, "Make money: thirty ways to earn extra money fast." Again, I'm just going to highlight them. I'm not going to read the whole thing, especially my I'm not my uh, throat's a little scratchy here. Uh, number one says, "Take online surveys." You can check that one out. <clears throat> And then they tell you over here, uh, it says over here, some of the top paying survey sites are listed below. And this is what they tell you. These are the, the prices right here. Okay. <clears throat> Here's another one, use cashback apps. Okay. Uh, and then they tell you the companies who, it says to get started, check out these more popular cashback apps. And you can check these out. All right. Uh, next, next one here, number three is Babysit. Okay. We all know that's a no-brainer. Then here's another one: become a driver, become a driver for a DoorDash. Uh, becoming a, door, a driver for DoorDash is double bon is a double bonus kind of a job. Not only do you earn a paycheck, but you are earn tips too, which is good. It kind of reminds me of that new company that came out called Ship It, Shipped, whatever. Uh, people could, you know, they they're like personal shoppers, you know. You, it's another one you might want to check into. Here's another one: delivery. Here we go: delivery groceries for Instacart. You get. Oops, what happened here? Uh, yeah. It says over here, uh, you can get paid to shop for others. Talk about an easy way to make extra money fast. Companies like Instacart allows you to earn extra cash and you spare time by shopping for others. Okay, you can check that out and uh, see what that's all about. Sell your old uh, phones and computer equipment. Gazelle is a, great is a great source to sell your old phones, tablet, iPad, or computer. It isn't, uh, it, if the equipment isn't too old and in good working condition, you can make a profit from selling them to Gazelle. This is better than just donating of them or giving them away, which is true. I mean, if you could do, if you have, there's ways to go out to make money, why not? Here's another one over here. Take advantage of referral programs. Uh, bank on bank on referral friend programs is a great way to earn extra uh, money fast. A lot of banks will pay as much as fifty dollars or more to refer you. Um, re, you or, well, when you refer a friend to the bank, the main caveat is is that you must also be a member of the bank in order to be referred for. Well, that's a, that's a no-brainer. That goes without saying. And last but not least, the number eight one is cut back on expenses. Oh, wait. There is another one here. How many did they say here? I'm sorry, guys. Oh, 30 ways. Oh, wow. I thought it was the last one. Oh, geez. Just to show you where I'm thinking here. Okay. Well, you got cut back cash expenses. Okay. You, you know what that one is. I'm just going to go in really quick. I realize that. Uh, sell used items to secondhand stores. All right. Sell used goods online, and of course, look at the place they tell you, eBay, uh, eBay, Craigslist. Now, I just signed up with this one here, Vonage. Okay. Uh, Varage sale here, and uh, I'll show you that in a minute. I think I got the window open up here. Oh no, this is not it. Let's see here. There it is. All right, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, that'll be the next one. Um, yeah, whenever, whenever I see things like that, I always like to check into it. Of course, number eleven is have a garage sale. Utilize flea markets or big events. Buy and resell. Sell your hair. Okay. Take pictures and sell them. I heard about that. Shutter stock, dream sign. Yeah. Matter of fact, I sign with these things. I put pictures on them, but nobody buying anything from me. <laughs> you might want to check into that, folks. You might, you might have better luck than me. Uh, 16, create awesome PowerPoint presentations. Um, edit documents. Find freelance jobs on Fiverr. Uh, perform tips. Uh, perform for tips. Okay, perform for tips. <laughs> Do yard work, of course. I did that back in my day when I was a young kid. I used to cut grass. I used to have like a little lawnmower business. Uh, here's another one. Do it yourself for others. Become part of a study. Rent the space. Sign up for bonuses. And sell what you make, which is good. And you could less, uh, well, no more tutor. You could also tutor. You could become a waitress, waiter, 
our waiter, waitress, and hostess. Run errands for the elderly. <clears throat> Become a referee. Join a catering company. And that's the final thoughts on that day. I'm not going to read all that, but you got an idea. If you want to read more about these or interested in any of these money-making tips here, just go to www.frugalforless.com. And you should be able to see that one there. Um, in that last one, I just you know blipped out of Virage Sale. This is what it's like. It's kind of like a Craigslist or neighborhood, uh, one of those neighborhood uh, websites where you've, you're selling stuff locally. You'll post like, this is how it looks. Okay. Here, matter of fact, here's mine right here. Here's mine right here. Okay. And when you click it on, it brings you to this here. And um, I just, I signed up yesterday. Okay. Now, in order to buy this, you got to join. Okay. So it's available in the following communities Levittown, New York, buy and sell. Okay. <clears throat> and I think they have more pictures. I don't know. Well, that picture looks, I should have cropped it a little better. I have to probably edit that one there. But, um, you know, you could put a close town that's next to your area where you live, close, to, you know, close to your area, and uh, you don't have to put your whole, you know, well, you're gonna have to put your town eventually, but you know, if they're gonna come pick it up, but uh, if you don't want to do that, you could just put in, you know, a town that's closest to you. You can meet the people again, like I said earlier in the video, uh, with the marketplace. If you feel uncomfortable having people come to your house, then you're not gonna want to use this service, but. Um, that's the way it is with Vonage, uh, Virage Sale. So you might want to check that out. And if you do want to check it out, you got to go to www.viragesale.com. Okay? Let's bump out of here. Now, if you guys are ever wondering about the most, um, what's actually, you know, trending or most watched items on eBay, I, I think I mentioned it to you guys. You might want to check this out, uh, watchcount.com. Uh, it says over here where, uh, what's most popular on eBay as voted by eBay users. Um, if you just click it on here without putting anything in the keyword search uh, window here, you're going to get what's, what's always going to get the most popular one, of course, but it goes alphabetical, so you're going to get these Apple iPhones. Now, if you're an Apple, if you've you got iPhones to sell, you might want to check this out. You know, uh, Get an idea what other people are selling for. You can see they all range at different prices. Uh, some of them go for eighty nine dollars, ninety five. Uh, the iPhone six is going for one hundred sixty nine dollars. But what I like about Watch Count it tells you actually how many people are actually watching this. Now you might say, well, how does that? How can you verify that? Well, for example, I don't know if it'll show you on eBay. It depends on what a browser window you're in. This will, if you go to eBay and you click this on, uh, it'll show you twenty six thousand. It should. But this particular one, I don't think it does. Let me see, because I'm in uh, Edge, Microsoft Edge. There is the browsers have different. Um, what do you call it there? Uh, they, they, they're, they're, the way they operate is a little different. Like if I'm looking at stuff on, uh, for example, what do you call it? Google Chrome? The format sometimes when you view things is going to be a little different. I don't know if you guys noticed that there, but the format's a little different in certain with certain browsers. I noticed that. Uh, well, I, for my own, because I usually use. Uh, I use not only I use Edge, I use Firefox, and I use the other one, Opera. And some of those there will show things or display things that are just a little different. You know what I'm saying? So you got to see. But nine out of ten, that that watch count uh, number is accurate. Okay. Now when you hit, for example, this is the one that we've seen over there for one eighty nine dollars. The first one went to. <clears throat> not a bad deal. It's a sell refurbished, right? Um, he's selling, and he's and you also can get it with uh, free standard shipping. Okay, um, but I'm just saying. But if you want to check it out, but they also have another service. When you do go to it, uh, to that, there, especially when it pertains to phones, you would click this on here on top here. Sell your phone uh, instantly. You would click it on. If I can get it here, all right, it's over here. I'm sorry, it's waiting for the response. Um, you're gonna go over here to eBay. It'll be on eBay, of course. And, you know, to get there, you would go to www.ebay.com forward slash S forward slash phone, and it'll bring you there. And <clears throat> what this service is, you sell your phone, get the most cash for it fast, find out what your phone is worth, list it now. And they have, you know, different phones up here, okay, Motorola, Apple, Samsung, LG. And what you would do is if you're going to sell, like for me, I have the Apple phone, then I would look for Apple, whatever, and then I would sell it, you know, uh, whatever, you know. 
but it's got Amazon. I guess I don't know if they make a phone. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, select the brand. But anyway, and then you'll put the model, the carrier, capacity, color, and so on. And then uh, you go here. And it, it's pretty cut and dry. I mean, it really is. You put the brand, model, carrier, capacity, and color, and condition. And then you'll continue to list it. Okay. Uh, but that's another way of doing it, especially if you're a person that sells phones, you know, iPhones or any type of phone, you know. Uh, not, not, I'm not talking about the, uh, like, house phones. I'm talking about cell phones, okay. So you might want to check that out and by going to the uh, eBay.com, and you could click on that there and sell your phone or just look for sell your iPhone on eBay. Let's bump out of here. This is where we already did the statistics, okay. And uh, let's see now. We already did the most watch. Yeah, okay. This one here I wanted to just show you guys over here. Um, <clears throat> if, you're not familiar, if you're not familiar with web retail, it's pretty good. This information came out uh, according to this year, August 18, 2014. What I like about web retailer, it gives you a pretty good a little insight as to what's going on with it. If you, especially if you're a reseller, you might want to sign up, you know, sign up for this year, subscribe to their uh, newsletter. But it, tell, it shows you over here, even though, like I said, this is old news, but it gives you an idea about what's well, how things operate for example four times as many sellers make a million uh, in sales on Amazon than eBay okay um, yeah as many sellers make a million in sales on Amazon than eBay okay uh, here's another one 63 percent only sell only 63 percent only sell on marketplaces 55 percent have a profit margin above 20 percent 29 percent aren't satisfied with their channel management software but if you read this here they updated on January 2016. Amazon selling surveys. It goes, you know, and we can click that on in a minute. But when you read on, I just want to read on a little over here. It says four times as many make a million on Amazon than eBay. We ask sellers for the annual revenue on Amazon, eBay, Sears, Rakuten, Newegg, Etsy, and other marketplaces they sell on. The whole breakdown uh, makes an interesting reading, but both statistics stand out. 33.3% of eBay sellers make under 10000 per year versus only 9% of Amazon sellers, okay? Then it goes on to say three, just 3.9% 3, 3, uh, of eBay sellers make over a million dollars per year versus 16.7% of Amazon sellers. So, um, you know, I don't fit in that category. I wish I was making over a million a year. That would be nice, um, but I don't, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, it gives you an idea, even though it's uh, old news, but this has been updated, but this is the new one here. But um, sometimes it gives you just an idea. Like people say, why would you want to post something that's from 2014? It just gives you an idea of what's going on up there. You know, sometimes people, you know, sometimes you got to research and you got to look at the old stuff to get, you know, to get the, uh, to get the stuff, you know, the new, you know, to, re to understand the new, what's going on in uh, what today. So it's not really that bad to look at old information, right? But uh, you could read a little more about it. You could, I don't want to expand too much on it. Uh, this is a pretty good website. I like it. Uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, it's uh, www.webretailer.com. You could check that out. And we already talked about this here, um, eBay has originally it says we originally answered I, I i inquired about this here okay and it says uh for active sellers as of 2017 there are 25 million active sellers on ebay <laughs> so that's what you got going on but i tell you folks um it's very interesting you know to see you, you know i i wonder sometimes with all these sellers and this is old information by a year right uh, there might be a lot more. I was looking at another one where they were saying that there's 26 uh, active sellers, I mean, you know, 26 million active sellers on eBay. But this one here, for some reason, it just came out with this one here. Let's see what this is all about here. I'm just curious to see. Uh, Satista, let's see here. Description. You know, I like clicking on these things. I always like to get an idea of what's going on. This is the number of eBay total active buyers. Okay, so this is going to be like the buyers up from the first quarter to 2010 to the second quarter 2018 in millions. Okay, so, you know, here's like 175 million people in Q2 2018. All right, and it just goes down. You can follow the graph. This is another good website, folks, just in case you want to get a little, do your own statistical information. You want to learn a little about it. You might want to check it in, you know, check into this here. They also have one where you could, you know, get a premium account where you pay monthly. All right. 
Um, I had the basic account. I am definitely registered on this. See, I didn't log in, but I know I'm registered on it. And uh, the, the website is uh, www.statista.com. Okay? And you can check that out as well. I'm going to bump out of here. I think I covered the topics I wanted to cover. And let's see here. Let me get over here. Sorry, folks, for um, if I sound a little hoarse. I mean, I think my allergies are acting up. Every time there's a change of season, the weather gets cool and stuff like that, I end up getting a cough and stuff. Um, sometimes I get those sneezing attacks, you know, from allergies and stuff. But, um, you know, nevertheless, you know, I still want to do the, uh, the reseller news and stuff. Uh, I just want to ask one thing to you guys out there, to all the new seller, uh, sellers, to all the new uh, subscribers out there, and even the uh, the present ones that have you know that have been signed up prior, uh, prior you know, previously, um, or prior as well. If you guys could let me know um, with this channel the things that you like to see or don't like to see, or the things that turn you off, whatever. I really like to know that there nobody really uh, leaves comments on there. I don't know if they feel funny leaving them, but I really it really would be a big help. Like, um, and the reason I'm saying is because I look on Social Blade. I don't know if you guys know about Social Blade, and I have a thing where you can check out the live subscriber accounts on there, and it gives you the information who signed on, who signed off. It doesn't give you names though, so <laughs> I don't want you to think that they oh he he knows who signed off, who's who's unsubscribed. No, but um. When you look down a list, it'll show you the, how many people you lost, you know, uh, as, as far as uh, people unsubscribing. And I, I just want to know one thing, like for the new for the new subscribers, uh, and, and like I said, the ones that are prior, the, you know, that have been subscribed. Um, if there's something that you want to see me talk about, something different, or talk about a different topic, I really would appreciate it if you could let me know because, you know, I know to some people it probably is no big thing. They probably look at it as well. It's, it's just eBay, but I mean, eBay, it's just YouTube, but to me, well, eBay's important too. <laughs> that's the one that's supposed to make money for you, right? Um, but YouTube is pretty important to me too. I mean, I do have a passion for, you know, YouTube. Uh, I love making videos, but I, like, I don't like just making videos. I'm not here just to entertain, you know? I mean, there are people out there that do videos to entertain, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I want to do, I want to, you know, this whole, the whole premise behind this uh, YouTube channel is to help people, you know? It's to help inspire and I like to share information you know with you guys and um, it, it, even though it might sound silly to say this but you know when you lose subscribers it kind of like hurts inside because it makes you feel like oh, geez I didn't do something to hold that person's interest you know uh, I didn't I didn't capture their their you know their, their feelings as to why they why they unsubscribed and that's why I want to find out if there's something that you don't like in my channel you know like uh, Maybe you don't like the music I put in the beginning or the end, or maybe you want me to see do videos without music altogether. Um, I don't know, and that's why I'm appealing. I'm reaching out to you guys out there, uh, see if you could help me out, give me a little insight as to what I'm doing wrong. Uh, because if you don't tell me, like that, that old saying goes, it goes sight and sound, right? You, you know, if a person doesn't know and they're doing the same, making the same repetitive mistakes over and over again, no one's gonna, you know, you're never gonna know unless someone tells you. And I'm sure people probably feel, you know, probably funny, say, well, you know, I like your channel, but, you know, um, you got to kill the music. Or I don't like the topic you're talking about. Can you talk about something else besides reselling news? Or, you know, it gets bland after a while. It gets tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. But, well, the reselling news is not supposed to be a repetitive thing, not, and not, not to state the same things over and over again. Uh, I'm not going to keep reliving or revisiting a, a, an old reselling news uh, segment with new content, you know, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to revisit it that way. I'm not going to keep bringing the same thing over. It's like inventing an old product with a new twist, you know. I don't want to keep doing that. The whole idea of this YouTube channel is to keep it fresh, clean, with new clean content and stuff like that, you know. Um, I, I'm not, I don't want to keep bringing out stuff over and over again, you know, but change it around a little, you know. You can say, hey, he, did he talk about that last week? Now he's bringing it up again. You know, if I got to do that, that means I end up, to, <laughs> I can't produce the videos then. There's nothing to produce because all I'm doing is throwing stuff out there that's that's not of interest to you guys. And that's why I'm, I'm appealing to you out there uh, who do follow me. And like I said, if, if you are new or, or let's say you just, you just stumble across this channel to see what I'm all about, you know, I like to get feedback and uh, hear what you guys have to say. You know, whether you like the channel or you don't, like just see me change things around. Uh, are the topics I talk about boring? Do they, they interest you? They don't interest you? 
you know I do want to like I said in my other videos I do want to change things around the format I don't know I was just thinking just before I know I said it once before um, I was thinking of changing my banner again what would I call it I don't know that's why I'm toying around ideas I don't know if I'm just gonna you know put my name there and then put like you know uh, Richard J. Pacini or RJ Pacini.com uh, it's the reseller eBay, eBay, you know, the reseller news, eBay seller, uh, you know, does online news. I don't know. I was thinking, I'm toying up ideas. I'm thinking if I should change the banner, maybe they don't like the banner, maybe they don't like the content, uh, what's on the banner, what I talk about. But you know, the whole purpose of the reseller news, though, is folks, <clears throat> is to help you out. You know, you're a reseller, I'm a reseller, we deal with e commerce, right. And uh, that's the whole purpose of this channel is to help one another out. And if you guys can, you know, have information, you want to kick it back to me, I'd be more than happy to, uh, you know, respond to it. I do respond to um, comments as long as they're nice. You know, if someone's going to leave me a nasty comment, I'm not going to respond to you plain and simple. But if you have something that, that's a, you know, that you feel that you want to get off your chest and talk about it, I'd love to hear what you have to say. I can't take a constructive criticism. I mean, if, like I said again, if there's something you don't like on my, my YouTube channel or the videos I produce, um, please tell me, you know. Uh, I'm not going to get offended. I mean, if someone tells me, well, I wish you'd stop doing reseller news, I find it boring. I don't know if I'm going to stop it altogether because I, I enjoy doing it, you know. But um, it's, it's to help people out, you know. But uh, I'm never going to know unless you guys, you know, will leave a comment or tell me about it. I don't know, you know. Um, but I want to put good content out there for you guys to keep coming back for more. Uh, the reseller news, I, I like to do it on a daily basis. I recently, well, a while back, I said I'm going to do the re, you know, reseller news weekends. Uh, I get these alerts from Google and other sources. And uh, when they, you know, I had to filter through a lot of stuff. And I pick out certain things, you know, that, that it may be of interest to you. And that's when I like to put them up and uh, share with you guys, you know. But I really do um, love doing the videos. And the other thing I want to say is, if it's if it's possible, I'm really trying to shoot, you know, get a goal to get a thousand subscribers. Um, I know people are saying, I know why you want a thousand subscribers. Well, I, I'm gonna, I'll be upfront and honest with you. It's true. I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, um, when you have a thousand subscribers and you meet all um, the thresholds with uh, YouTube, uh, certain benefit you reap certain benefits with it. For one, for one thing. You can monetize your channel. Um, you know, that's one thing. And I, you could also, I think, sign up. I think, don't call me to it. I think a Patreon account, I think. And there might be some other things, too, that go along with it. Uh, with that, I think it was with AdSense and stuff like that. I don't know if it's the same thing. I am a, a, part, a YouTube partner verified. You know, I am verified with YouTube. But uh, my, my channel is not monetized. Um, and the reason why I say that, like I said, being... Uh, not a sob story, but I, like I said, being I got laid off in 2016, I'm doing eBay full time and I'm doing this. And I'll be honest with you, folks, uh, I'm not going to lie. It would be nice if I can get this channel to become monetized where if I can make something off, if I can make a little amount of money just to like help ease the burden as far as like with some of the bills, uh, that would be great on my, you know, on my part, on part, you know, my part as far as that goes. But at the same time, it also gives me incentive to create better videos, you know. Uh, the equipment, I'm not going to upgrade my equipment. And people say, well, what would you do with the money anyway if you got it monetized? Would you buy new cameras? And so, No, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty frugal and conservative. Um, I, I wouldn't probably invest too much in, in, in electronics and new stuff because if, like that old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Why would I want to buy uh, new stuff if I don't really need it? It's a waste of money. But um, I really would, you know, appreciate if, if I could somehow, if you guys out there could pass the word on and, Maybe you could tell people about my channel. Uh, if I can get a thousand subscribers, that'd really be great. Like I said, it would help monetize the channel, the uh, the be um, my channel. And uh, if I could generate an income from it, it's not going to be a big one, but whatever, every little bit helps. That would be able to help me uh, continue to keep making more videos, produce some better videos and stuff like that. Um, you know, it'd be a big help. Let's put it that way. I'm trying to, my goal is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. This is something I could do on my own, per se. Uh, I, I'm trying to create a thousand videos before the year's over. I don't know if I'm going to do it, folks. I'm, I'm going to try, but I doubt it. I think I'm up, what, 680 or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's something like that. Um, it, it, you know, it sounds easy to do, but putting out content, it's a lot. I mean, I, geez, I've seen somebody had 12,000 videos. I don't know who was, what, what the YouTube channel, 12,000 videos. Like, holy smokes. 
I can't even pitch it through and get thousand. They had twelve thousand. It's like wow. Uh, I don't know if the the the, uh, the YouTube channel, but I was looking at how many videos I got produced. Like holy jeez, twenty uh, twelve thousand videos. And as I'm sure that's probably there's people I got probably more than that. It's like wow, I can't fathom having that many. Uh, but you know, I I would like to at least my goal, my own personal goal, and I, I said again I can do it myself. It's to at least get a thousand videos. Of, uh, you know, put them up before years end. I, I don't know if it's going to happen. I really don't know. If, if it does, it'll be a miracle. Um, but if not, it's okay. No big deal. It's a goal. But um, as far as like with the subscribers, you know, hitting that thousand threshold uh, in order for my channel to be monetized, I need help from you guys. You know, I need you to go out and subscribe if you want to help me out. That'd be great. I really would appreciate it. Um, if you could tell your friends, relatives, whatever, about my channel. It's a clean content channel, folks. Um, I don't use profanity. I don't discuss religion or politics. Although sometimes it kind of like weaves in, like the, the, the religious part. I don't really talk much about it. Um, I, on the other hand, I do. I am on a religious side of life. I do follow politics. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I'm a straight shooter when, I talk, when it comes to talking about things um, on, on this channel. I don't sugarcoat anything. I tell it like it is. Uh, I don't have a I don't have a book to sell you on how to make money on eBay. Uh, I don't have a I don't have a, a dream to sell you. <laughs> there are people out there that have all these things on how to make money on eBay, how to do this, that, and the other thing, and you know you pay for that service. I don't have anything like that. I don't have a dog in this fight, so to speak. I'm just a single guy, you know, that does well. Single in the sense that I just do my my I'm doing a YouTube channel by myself. That's what I mean by single. Um, I mean, I have my daughters and stuff like that and family, but I don't get them involved in my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? That's, this is for me. This is my little, my baby, so to speak. Um, but for the most part, though, I, I really do enjoy doing videos. I really do love it. This is one of my passions. Um, you know, back in the day when I bought my cameras and stuff like that, I, I, I always had an idea. This is before, even before YouTube came out. I always wanted to do something like this, you know? take pictures and, and upload them to the computer I had the idea but I never really expanded much on it you know at the time who thought about putting videos on on, on a computer right I mean think about it but for the most part uh, it's a passion I like um, eBay is a dream like I said they're both are YouTube and eBay is and um, I really would like to see this play I like to see this this channel take off I really would you know and I do uh, for what it's worth for anybody I do want to help inspire and share information with you guys out there you know that's what it's all about too the reseller news is is all about that there it's to help inspire and share with you guys out there and the only way you're gonna get any inspiration or get something from it is if you are maybe if you are an online seller or reseller that sells on eBay it doesn't have to just be eBay any e-commerce platform Etsy Amazon Poshmark whatever it's it's online you know it's e-commerce so uh, it doesn't have to, this is not, this channel is just not for people who sell on eBay. I know it says tips for eBay, but it's for anybody that, that wants to, you know, get, get a little insight of what's going on in the retail world. Um, if I do have information that I, that I use personally, as far as like selling or what the techniques I use or whatever I have, um, I will be more than happy to share with you, okay? I don't sugarcoat anything, uh, folks. I tell it like it is. That's the thing. If you, if you know me from the past or whatever, um, you'll know that I do things, I, I tell it like it is, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to come on this channel and tell you I made $5,000 this week or $10,000 this month. I don't have that, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do stuff like that because it's not true. And I'm not going to, you know, throw numbers out there just to keep you interested so you keep coming back for more and more. I tell it like it is. I'm a, I'm a, like I said, I'm an honest seller. Um, and I, like I said again, I, I, I don't sugarcoat anything. I tell it like it is, okay. So uh, if you want good, clean content and you want it, you want good, you know, you want to hear it straight from me, uh, please, you know, s subscribe, like, and and share, and and your comments are always welcomed. I mean, uh, as long as they're nice comments, I will respond to them, you know. But uh, if you guys out there can help me do that, there, uh, you know, get that thousand threshold mark. I'm not too far off. I mean, I don't know, there were 351 people um, that, are, that are the subscribers, which is great. I really do appreciate it. That's another thing, too. If I didn't say it, I would like to say it now. Thank you so much uh, for subscribing to my channel. You are greatly appreciated in, in taking the time out of your busy day to, you know, come here and, and watch my videos. 
I, I really do appreciate it because it is a lot. It's, a, it's, it's well, I mean, because you don't know me from Adam, and I don't know you, but if we met, if you met me first play first time, you would you would probably take to me as a as a, as a good natured person, a friend, because that's the way I am. The way I am talking to you in this video is if you met me on the street, is the same way I would be talking to you. I treat everybody with respect. There's no hatred in my heart. I care about everybody in this world and stuff like that. I mean, I love to see peace and happiness throughout the, through, you know, in my lifetime. I'd like to see all that there, you know. Um, but um, it is what it is, folks. I mean, you know, I can't change the world, but I can only, I can only hope and pray to uh, the man above that we could, you know, become a unified world where everybody accepts one another and we can, you know, get along and stuff like that would be great. But uh, I am a down-to-earth person, though. And uh, like I said, again, I do uh, like to share information and help out in any way I can. So this is the best way, this is the best way I know how to handle, you know, to help, you know. Uh, monetarily wise, I can't do anything monetarily wise, but, um, you know, it's, you can do it that you through, through uh, social media. And that's how it is, you know. Um, we'll see how it goes. But again, you know, uh, if you guys could help out, help me reach that goal for the, uh, you know, thousands of subscribers, that'd be great, folks. That'd really be great. I really would appreciate that. Uh, your help, it really means a lot to me. And if I can get this channel, like I said earlier, if I can get this channel monetized, where it, it, I, I, it's not going to be much anyway, but if it starts growing in, in bigger numbers, uh, you know, that would help out. Uh, would help me to keep it going, you know what I'm saying? It gives me more of an incentive, more of a drive. It's like um, when I used to work in a corporation, you know, like we used to have those merit those uh, certificates there, or achievement, rewards, whatever, that when you did certain things in a company, you would get these certificates and you would post up in your cubicle. And, uh, you know, you, you look at I used to post mine up like in a, where I could look every now and then. I'd be doing work. I'd just glance at it and say, yeah, I did that, that completed that course or I got a, a marital, you know, uh, certificate because I did such such good uh, work. There were pro I made did projects. I got them completed on time, and it really does help. And that's what this that's that's what this is all about. You know, if I can get this channel monetized <clears throat> and reach that goal, that'd be great. I'd love to have millions and millions of subscribers. I really would. Um, but you know, as time goes on, I will change the format around to make it more interesting to make people wanna come back and listen to my channel, you know, to my, my watch my videos, you know. But um, again, I, I won't know unless people tell me what they want, what they like and dislike. Um, I know sometimes I get the thumbs down on my videos and yeah, it makes you feel like kind of, eh, you know, eh, I got a thumbs down. I guess somebody watched my video, they don't like it. So, but whatever the reasons are, I don't know. There could be a number of reasons. They don't like the content. They don't like the video. They don't like me. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, people just... You're, you're, everyone's entitled to voice their opinion, you know, and if somebody doesn't like something, they don't like it. You can't, you can't force people to like stuff, right? But uh, we'll see how it goes, though, folks. But anyway, I don't want to take too, too much of your time. I probably did. I don't know how long this video is. I do apologize, folks, but I just wanted to share that with these. Um, my name is Rich Bassini. Uh, this is the Reseller News. Today is October 23rd, 2018. Uh, I'm wishing everybody the best in sales. Um, if you try that, if you see that video I just made before, earlier, uh, about the, I said there was a title over here, eBay's dead, try cross-selling. Uh, you could try it out and see what happens. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, it's a sure win to generate sales, but you never know, you know. Uh, the, the whole thing about this here is to try to get your name out there as much as you can, try to build a brand. Uh, that's why I also do cross-selling on uh, Bonanza. You guys might want to check that out. Go to Bonanza.com, see what they're all about. You know, I look at it this way, it can't hurt. I mean, Bonanza, I don't get any, I don't get charged for anything because if no one's buying anything from you, as far as I know, I'm not getting charged. I don't remember paying bills for it. The only time I remember paying anything from Bonanza is when I made a sale, I had to pay their insertion fee, you know. But otherwise, to have it, it's, it can't hurt. You know, the way I look at it, what, what doesn't sell on eBay will sell on Bonanza. What doesn't sell on Bonanza will sell on eBay. Even though Bonanza's like Deadsville, <laughs> right now it's kind of really dead. I mean, um, but I have made sales, but I, the whole time I've been on them, I don't know, maybe what I make, 10 sales maybe, the whole time since I started with them, compared to what I got on eBay, it's no comparison, but it's nice, it's a nice like site, it's a nice little website there, um, you know, it's going to take time for them to get the momentum to build up like uh, eBay and Amazon, I mean, it would be nice if they could be another competitor like that, and there are other companies out there, you know, 
Uh, there's eCreator, eBid. There are other selling platforms. I don't know how they how they rate as far as like everybody knows Amazon and eBay, but I don't know those other guys, those small time guys. I don't know. I really don't know. I never really ventured into them. But if I did, believe me, I will share that information with you folks. I will let you know what I think about it. You know, I'll tell you the pros and cons, what I like about it. Uh, I'll tell you if I, you know, the sales, if I made better sales than I did on eBay well, with them. I don't know. I'm still researching stuff. Um, so we'll see where it goes. But thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck on your selling. Until next time, bye-bye now.